What is going on? Good afternoon. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is happy and healthy. This is Coach Patterson coming to you with the first installment of the Republic of Texas lesson. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's get into this computer. So today we're talking about the Republic of Texas. Obviously, uh, last time that we saw each other in person, uh, we were just concluding the uh, Texas Revolution. So we've got our independence from Mexico. It's now time for Texas to jump into being a country of its own. So here's just a, a quick overview of, of what we're going to learn uh, in this whole unit. Uh, right here, we have Sam Houston. Uh, right here, we've got some Native Americans. We've got Maribu Lamar, uh, Debt, and then we have Anson Jones in the United States. Uh, so I invite you to start thinking about, you know, how are these things going to come into play for the Republic of Texas and everything like that. Um, because these are all major players in the short time that Texas is actually a country. So today we're going to talk about Sam Houston. Uh, Sam Houston and his first presidency uh, and what, was he, what he was able to accomplish, the problems facing the new republic and everything like that. So Sam Houston wins uh, the presidential election on September 5th, 1836 in a landslide. Okay. Uh, Sam Houston was, you know, viewed as a uh, hero after the Battle of San Jacinto. Uh, Stephen F. Austin comes back to Texas after a failed mission to get money during the revolution and get support from the United States. He comes back to Texas thinking that he's going to have a heroic return. Everybody's going to welcome him with open arms, but honestly, everybody had kind of forgot about him. Uh, and then Henry Smith shows up and they're all running for president, but uh, Sam Houston is able to defeat them in a landslide victory. Maribu Lamar is going to be Sam Houston's vice president. Remember the name. We'll see him again. Uh, and then Houston makes Stephen F. Austin as secretary of state as a kind of a goodwill gesture, if you will. Um, but unfortunately, Stephen F. Austin is going to die uh, a few weeks after taking the office of um, attorney or Secretary of State. So, problems faced the Republic. It was not all sunshine and rainbows for Sam Houston. Um, he was in a world of hurt uh, for the first for his first presidency. And uh, some of those problems that he was facing is that the Republic was in serious debt. If you think about it, uh, wars cost a lot of money. So Sam Houston was faced and left with that uh, debt that the Republic of Texas had incurred uh, from the revolution of Mex from Mexico. So that debt was going to be a serious, serious problem uh, for Texas. They didn't have any money. They didn't really have an, econo an economy at this point. Um, so that debt is going to be um, a big problem. Uh, also, Mexico, we know that Santa Ana was supposed to go back to um, Mexico and get Texas its independence, but he was shunned and exiled basically from the country. Uh, and so Mexico is not recognizing Texas as independent, uh, which is going to pose a big problem for Texas because um, Mexico is still going to think that uh, Texas is theirs, and so that's that's going to be a problem uh, that Sam Houston is going to have to face. He's also got a big problem with uh, Native Americans. Uh, so the Mexicans are actually uh, getting the Native Americans to you know have raids and cause problems in Texas, uh, and so Sam Houston is going to have to come up with a solution for that. Um, and then annexation to the United States. So Texas knew that it wasn't going to be able to. Um, be successful as a country for very long. So Sam Houston's main goal, or one of his goals, was to get uh, Texas annexed into the United States. And so we're going to see if he was able to do that in his first term. Uh, and then we got the Cordova Rebellion. Like I said, uh, the natives and the Mexicans were all kind of in cahoots against Texas. And so Mexico convinces natives to rebel against the Republic of Texas. Um, then Vincent Cordova uh, was put in charge of that uh, revolution, but it was quickly put down and uh, the natives 
would be an issue for most of the time, as we already know. All right, we're back. Um, sorry, uh, technical difficulties. Uh, the battery, the camera died. But jumping right back into this uh, uh, presidency, uh, Sam Houston was able to accomplish many things in his first presidency. Number one, he created the Texas Rangers. No, no, we're not. We're not talking about the baseball team. Okay, we're talking about. We're talking about um, the basically the army um, that is going to protect Texas throughout the years uh, of its uh, being a country. Uh, he's going to reduce spending. He's going to cut the uh, military, specifically the Navy, down and sell some ships off and create um, some money that Texas can spend. Uh, number one, to get out of debt and just to spend in general on things that this, that this uh, country needs. Uh, he's going to decrease that debt from, uh, actually, scratch that. He tries to decrease the debt, but he doesn't. Uh, it goes from $1.2 million to $2 million, which in today's terms, like, ah, oh, it's great. It's not a bad, not a bad deal at all. Uh, you got to remember, we're talking about 1830s here. Um, so the... $2 million in 1830 is a lot of money. Um, we can do the uh, comparison here in a minute. Uh, the United States recognizes Texas as being independent, but they're not actually ready for uh, Texas to become a state yet. And Houston uh, makes Houston, Texas, uh, the first capital of the Republic of Texas. And uh, he works really hard to uh, make peace with the natives. So if we remember back from uh, when we first met Sam Houston, uh, we know that he spent some time living with uh, some Native Americans and uh, he's going to make, try to make peace with the natives, which is going to help uh, reduce the Native American raids and uh, just help keep the peace overall in Texas. Now he's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be a perfect plan, but uh, he does make many, many strides to uh, make peace with those natives. And that's basically it for Sam Houston's first presidency. It's a quick uh, little over override, overreach, um, overview, I should say. Uh, it's a quick overview of the presidency, but all in all, that's basically all that happened. Um, so he's elected. He's got some problems facing him, such as debt. Um, we know what he tries to do with that debt. He tries to take it uh, down but it ends up going up by eight hundred thousand dollars which in today's terms isn't a whole lot um but it does go up uh, he, he's making strides to becoming a part of the united states uh, the united states recognizing texas as independent is going to play a huge role in that when it comes time to uh to get to statehood um, and get annexed into the united states but uh, that's basically Sam Houston's uh, presidency. A quick overview, quick lesson for you. Uh, hope you hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helped uh, better than just sitting there reading a PowerPoint. Uh, and it's familiar for you. Uh, and that's that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep it familiar for everybody. Keep it as normal as possible. Even though we're not face to face, at least you can see my face and uh, hear my words. Uh, again, if you're from a different class, welcome. Uh, happy you're here. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you need anything from any of your teachers, please do let us know, and we'll see you in the next one.